Hi, Daily Holy Universe, it's me, Preston Yui, and welcome back to some more Bioshock. This is post time Preston, by the way. Click and pause on 32. Well, uh, it unpaused at 2, so. Later, Preston, when you're editing this, 2. When I say 2, that's when it pauses, unpauses, okay? Good. Um, I just got done watching some South Park. Notice that. Well, I didn't notice. I realized what I did. Um, I dragged the file from my phone to my trash bin on accident and deleted the audio file for this part of the game. So now I have to post time it and talk over the gameplay that's being shown to you while well in post. Um, so yeah. The episode I just watched, I think it's like my new favorite South Park episode. It's Craig X Tweak or Tweak X Craig, whatever it was called, but it's a hilarious and like knowing the culture that it's mocking is kind of just very funny. Uh, so here I am. I think this is after, yeah, this is after I killed the one Houdini Splicer Ice Guy in here, and I'm going on to kill his other disciples. They are ironically not as hard, but I think I died to one of them. Then again, I died to the Houdini guy, so take that as you will. Um, I don't know if I was saying anything important during this, but there's something important that happens later on. By the way, I didn't delete the audio files for the whole video, only uh, the first 11 minutes and 52 seconds of the video is really... Uh, post time audio and then later on everything's while playing the game it's audio from the game not audio from the game but audio from me while playing the game but yeah I literally looked into this room and said nope and turned around and walked away uh, this area has um, I think I mentioned this later on in the video but this area has a very annoying it's, like, it's very fun but it has a very annoying problem with it and it's not even a problem, it's just a challenge, an extra challenge there is because all these shops have those glass windows that can break easily. It makes it very hard to fight in this area and not set off the alarm. Um, I think later on I shoot somebody with a shotgun and it breaks one of the windows. I'm like, this is exactly what I mean. <laughs> this right here is what I'm trying to say to you guys. Fighting this area is fucking difficult. But yeah. If you don't mind, I'm going to talk about tweaking Craig for a little bit, because nothing really happens here. Like, I miss a security camera that's going on in this room. I'm going to be quiet for you, McDonald's. But he brung it upon himself. Instead of copping it on the chin, bugger gets it into his head. He's going to go down guns blazing. Who does he think he is? John bloody White. We can get on top of this. We can. Here's what we know. Find Fontaine's will and make what was his go to where it was intended, and not into the pockets of us that put him into the ground. Don't know if his audio tape is still playing. Um, I'm gonna talk more about tweaking Craig now because I think his audio tape is done. I can't tell because the video audio is silent, so I don't really. Nope, nope, it wasn't done. Oops, sorry. Um. I don't know if it's still not done. Alright, I think it's done now. Um, I think the one thing that I think they could have done to improve the episode, even though it's like one of my new favorite episodes because it's so smart but also so stupid at the same time. Um, they really understood the culture they were making fun of, or not the culture, I guess the fan base they were making fun of. Got the microphone a little bit too close to my mouth there, because I had an itch in my lip. Um, the culture that they were making fun of, or the fan base they are making fun of, is Yaoi culture. Um, this culture that I have never been a part of, but always... I've witnessed it, I should say. I, I Because I'm from the anime world. I love anime. I love video games. I know what Yaoi is. I've seen it. I definitely can understand the frustrations. <laughs> um, but 
I wish he would have. They would have added some of the girls, like like when Tweak and Craig go, "I'm not gay." They would get mad, and like, "No, you are gay. We know you're gay." Like, get mad at them. Like, I guess that would be a little bit too much, but but it's it's funny because when I think I guess the best example is Fire Emblem community. There's a few people in the Fire Emblem community. I don't mind it. But, like, witnessing how strongly they believe in this is kind of fucking hilarious, but... Um, in the Fire Emblem community, they'll ship certain male characters together, female characters together, and then some people will be like, they're not canonically gay, they can't be canonically gay, there is no gay people in Fire Emblem except for two. And then they'll be like, Just because you're not canonically gay, oh my god, you're so stupid, they could be gay, maybe they're hiding it, I'm like... <laughs> Why does it matter? There are two fictional characters. So what? If someone wants to draw pictures and if someone calls you out on it, on canon facts, why do you care? Just draw your pictures. And the other guy, why do you care if they draw their pictures? Just let them draw their pictures. This is my, this is, comes back to my bigger whole life philosophy of just let people live the way they want. <laughs> Not even let people live the way they want. Just let people enjoy life the way they want to enjoy life. Why do you have to pick on people? <laughs> They're not doing anything. Like, that's always my thing. They're not doing anything to you. Like, it's always funny to make fun of bad content. But, like... Not even bad content. Just make fun of certain things uh, sometimes. But sometimes it's like... People get a little bit too into it. And it becomes mean-spirited. And it's like... Come on, guys. Can we just live? Can we just live? Um... A little fun fact for you, though. Uh... Me... The closest I've ever gotten to the Yaoi community is this joke I would always play on my friend because he's a big Naruto fan. His favorite character is Sasuke. And I honestly believed that I was right for a little while because the way Sasuke ignores girls and the facts that I put behind it. First it started I was a joke and then I was thinking, you know, they could actually do that. <laughs> but um, in in Naruto, in one of the first few episodes, Naruto and Sasuke are having a stare down, and everybody knows the scene. It's the infamous scene. They're having a stare down. Oh, by the way, this is important right here. Go show up. But anyways, in this scene, Naruto gets bumped by a dude, and he falls into Sasuke, and they lip lock. And the joke is there, oh, they lip lock, so gross, and all the girls get mad at Naruto. But, if I could be perfectly honest with you, why was Sasuke in that position to begin with? They lip locked. Sasuke had to be puckering his lips. He was sitting there. He's the top ninja in the school. Why didn't he dodge out of the way, put his arms up, and why was his lips in kissing motion? <laughs> This was always the evidence I put to my friend. I was like, it started as a joke too. I was like, Sasuke's gay. And he's like, no he's not dude. Sasuke's gonna be with Sakura. It's how it's gonna end. And he was right. And I knew he was right. But I just loved messing with him. And like when I threw the evidence at him, he would get mad. And I was like, well, explain this to me. He's sitting in a chair. Naruto has an excuse. You make funny faces when you fall. By the way, more important stuff. This lovely lady of the night is Sorry. leading us to her room. I didn't know. I didn't know Fontaine had something to do with it. I, what? What are you doing? No! No, don't, no, please! I loved you, don't, no, don't, no, please, no! No! Andrew Ryan kills her. And note that right there, that little flash pack zoom in on the picture. I think I said that like 30 times while I was actually playing this game. Nope. Put a side note on that. I was like, I don't want to be one of those people who are like telling you guys, hey, this is important, but definitely remember that for later. That's important. <laughs> but the funniest thing is he was to get so mad, but the evidence was kind of very supporting my thing. I was like, he's sitting there. And I get it was a joke scene, so you can't read too much into it, but like, I was like, he's sitting there. Instead of putting his hands up or dodging out of the way, he decides to pucker his lips and have him fall on him. How does that make sense? And you can't even say he didn't see him coming because he's staring directly at him. They're having a stare down. 
But I just thought that was funny. But the Craig and Tweak episode, definitely hilarious. Check it out. Post time Preston about to leave. And we're going to get current time Preston. Um, I'm going to leave you guys off with some words from post time Preston. Whatever you want to do, whatever any other people do, let them do it. Unless it's harming someone. <laughs> whatever people do for fun. If they draw weird pictures, make weird fan fiction, make videos on YouTube. I'll let them do it. You just the world would be a happier place if we all just got along and didn't bother being assholes. Like this guy who ran away. And then he aggroes my big daddy, and you'll see later that that big taste starts pissing me off. And the B power is useless. 52 seconds. See, look, he aggroes the big daddy. This is why he's a dick. Don't be like that guy. Be nice. If I'm coming, if I, if I, if I, if Xander Cohen, you don't, don't be a Xander Cohen. Be a be my computer who interrupts me. But yeah. Gonna get into the regular video and I'm gonna stop. Alright, you reverse, click and pause in 3, 2, click. But yeah, I don't want to be that guy that's like, Hey, remember this for later. Well, this is going to be important, but just remember that zoom in for later. That little flashback that we had with the picture of our mom. Probably won't get to that in a while, but Where is Rodriguez? Big man's above us. Is it back in here? Dude, stop running. This is not gonna end well for you. I'm gonna need to go to the store. Not the real life store. The store here. Circus of Values. Cause that dickweed and fucking Big Daddy killed my health bar.
I do have some money. I have way too much money is the problem. <laughs> she said faster. Uh, faster! <laughs> well, that was fast. Uh, my dad's being loud again, if you can hear that. He makes this dumb voice when he's trying to be funny. Hey, but it's just annoying. I love my dad. But I could stand to chill for a minute if you catch my drift I know I can get in here I don't know how though another thing that makes Fort Farrell complicated is uh Um, so another thing that makes this area, oh by the way you can use the slot machines and they will, you can win money from them, but I won't advise for it. But another thing that makes this I smell something nasty. all too complicated is that, that's what I was trying to explain, that's what makes this a very complicated place. Where is it? Where the fuck is it? That's not it. Try to find the switch that turns them off. But I don't see it. I'm kind of hoping these stupid robots shoot all the fucking windows. Okay, it's done. So yeah, that's another problem with this area that makes it more complicated. Is that when you're fighting, you gotta be very careful not to break these windows. And you will, if if you're using the shotgun. I should probably stop using the shotgun, shouldn't I? Nope. I'm a glutton for punishment. I honestly don't remember what made me like this place so much. I think it's just Sander Cohen and his craziness. Allegro! Allegro! Get some Eve. I caught by what was I caught by oh that camera Run me.
Okay, come on. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Leave me alone. I don't want to be bothered right now by a slicer. Da 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 Where are you? That's not cool. Why aren't you guys attacking on sight? There's a question for you. Stupid robots. I need ammo. Please have ammo. That's good too. Um, okay, we're done there. He's still skulking the halls, doing nothing. Jesus. Don't want to do. Boom. Don't even care if that was a waste. It was a waste. And there's the thing. <laughs> there's the switch. That turns off the alarm. Jesus! <sighs> Fucking assholes. the obvious that always gets me too. Like, oh, spider splicer right in front of my face. Let's get scared. At least I'm now a mob bunny, so I can start picking it up for a very dead enemy. Oh, this is a trap. Pressing pause in 3, 2, click. Yep, so this is a trap. Yep, 
This is the trap guy. Hi. You have a condition. You're on fire. I recommend seeing a doctor or a fire hose for that. Come on. Hop down. Here we go. Time to solve the problems. Do I have like a water shooter? No, electro gel. Let's do it. Buddy, I could give two shits about you and Cohen's personal life. In fact, I can give two shits about everything that goes on down here that doesn't involve me and leaving, but... Now you've made it personal. Welcome to the land of Shaki. Shocking, isn't it? He was a nasty one. And my favorite. But I think I like him better this way. Take his damn photo. Chop chop. Alright, now I think we have all the photos we can leave here. Before we leave. Fucking bullshit. Leave me alone. Come on. I just want to talk to somebody. Buddy, leave me alone. Come on. I just want to talk. I don't want to talk right now. Leave a message after the beep. Beep. <laughs> Leave a message after the beep. Fuck me. Where's that guy? Buddy, I need to kill you. I just wanna talk. Cool, let's talk. I need to kill you. I'm not a bad Thank you. That's not enough. God damn it. Okay, cool. It's going away. Alright, that's enough for the next time that happens. Don't run! We were just getting started! Call the cops on me! Have fun like that. Have fun, frozen bitches. I should stop playing. I am going over time. I really don't care. <laughs> So yeah, now we killed all Xander Cohen's goons. He should reward us with a special reward, and then I'll talk to you about that in the next video. But this is all important. Some of these assholes are alive. Shit, where'd he go? Just because you can never be too safe. Have fun with that, gents.
So yeah, I'm about to show you something really creepy. Something that gave me quite the spook. It's not like me. Huh. Hold on. Huh, that's weird. Not gonna question it. In fact, I am so cool with that going on that I'm just going to leave this whole area. Drop. Drop. I got a leg up on you, bitch. Drop. Thank you. Alright, so when we come back, we will finish the Xander Cohen part in Fort Frolic. See you guys next time. Bye. Stay Yui.